Hey everybody, I'm Peter from Offroad Electric and you are watching the last episode related to this today already non-existing Tatra. This is the episode number 28 and it's sponsored by our wonderful Patreon patrons. If you want to become one, just go down to the link below. You can also help us by purchasing this t-shirt. Today's episode will be a little bit special. I want to show you the faces uh, that are behind this uh, whole project. Here is our camera woman, Miriam. Hi. And our video editor, Liber. Hi. When we started this project, I had zero experience in front of camera. Miriam had zero experience behind the camera. And Libor have never done anything similar to this project. I think during the time uh, we improved the quality of our videos and I hope this process will continue for your satisfaction. So we are going to do a recap in this episode. All this disassembly took us 27 episodes I think, which means 27 uh, filming days. Of course the filming day and the real day is completely different. I think if you are alone if you have no tools, like I don't have any tools almost, it should take you approximately two weeks to completely disassemble this Tatra. Some people ask me how much uh, this build would cost me, I have no idea. But I would like to get close to the zero, I will explain it. I bought this Tatra, I saw the engine, transmission, auxiliary drive from the transmission, two new brand, uh, two new tires I'm not going to use. And I, I got my money back, including the delivery. I'm going to sell this rear axle and that rear axle. I'm going to sell the cab and some small stuff like intake and fuel tanks and other things. This Tatra already made the money. I think the second Tatra will be something similar. I will get some profit there. And then when I buy all those four leaves, I'm going to lose some money over there. But if I put everything together, what I need to buy, and sell everything I don't need, I think I'll be very near to zero. Some people think that this is impossible without heavy equipment. That's pretty bullshit, I think. To be honest, I had to order the forklift twice. Once for removing uh, the cab, and second time for removing the engine because the engine is huge. I don't really have the equipment for that. Otherwise than that, I did it everything by myself. I don't know what is the most important tool over here. Probably the com compressor. <coughs> this one is from England. I got it for free. I had to fix about four things on it to make it operational. But since then, it runs all my tools without any problem. I have this pallet jack, you can have the engine hoist, but I think the pallet jack is better. Uh, this one was here, some idiot put a lot of weight on it. This pallet jack bent over here like that and the electric motor that was here was broken. So I just put the pump, mechanical pump from the Tatra, I, uh, from that first one I disassembled. And simply I have it mechanical now. And since I put it together, it works flawlessly. It does the job. So this one was also for free for me. The next one is this floor jack. It's up to four tons. I have one bottle jack over here. You will also need the caster wheels. I have four. Uh, I have eight of them. You will need at least four. What you need to have the three quarter impact wrench and some heavy duty uh, set of uh, sockets, extensions, I have ratchets here. Uh, you really need uh, like maybe five or six sizes of these sockets 
you don't need actually uh, the whole set. Of course, here is the impact, uh, impact wrench, half inch and half inch impact ratchet and a set of sockets deep and, uh, and shallow of normal sizes. <clears throat> a lot of work uh, did these two grinders. I have one 230 uh, millimeters and 125 millimeters. You will need some chains, some ratchet straps. This is the important thing. Uh, I bought it especially for this. Uh, these are the, the bearing pullers. This one is up to, I think, 110 millimeters. And I used two of them. You can see that in the episodes where I took the steering box arm off and also the ball joints. There are pullers uh, originally made for this Tatra, but they are very expensive. I don't want to spend uh, the money that is not necessary. <clears throat> and of course, ordinary socket set, ordinary screwdrivers. They are actually impact screwdrivers. You can hit, uh, hit them with the hammer over here. And some pliers. I use only two hammers here. And I have these wrenches and I have flat wrenches and you will also need the torch the yellow one is better than blue one you will also need a lot of muscle if you have no equipment you are going to get tired over here but it's worth it it's better than go to gym isn't it and now let's talk about suspension we are going to use this point that was used for the torsion bars originally. We'll put some flat iron over here and we'll hold it with the U-bolts like that on this point and on the back over here. This shock will obviously be relocated a little bit forward and when the bracket is done we are going to put this airbag into this position approximately somewhere here and maybe we might use this cross member which is ori originally from here we might recycle this cross member to hold the airbags on the top one of my biggest questions always was how am I going to put the locker on the steering uh, axle so I, take, I took a look a little bit and took some measurements I, I found out that only the difference between these gears of the non-steering axle and the gears uh, on the steering axle is actually only this one gear. Only this gear is different. So I'm going to slide it out over here and slide it on, on this axle and it will be then prepared for the differential locker that's that simple this tube is originally mounted through this flange into this place unfortunately here is non-locking differential what i'm going to do i will remove this differential out and i will take the differential from the back This differential is obviously lockable here through this mechanism where, where it's unlocked and locked. So I will remove this differential over here. I will cut off this, this stuff completely and I will put, I will place this mounting point for the differential locker controller onto that another tube. Next step will be, I'm going to cut this tube over here and over here and these tubes I am going to weld together. So the total length, total length of it will be like this. We are going to mount this now, now already speed reducer on the original side on this flange. And now we will take a look how the auxiliary transmission works. 
Uh, I'm spinning this uh, shaft uh, where from another side goes the transmission and the engine torque. And when you take a look over here, it's spinning. But when you look on another side, it's not spinning here. But when I push this, it starts spinning. This is a device that engaged, originally engaged or disengaged the front axle. You probably know that electrical vehicles, when they are not able to move, uh, the motor, the electric motor uh, actually prevents the wheels to be spinning. So if we get stuck anywhere in the, in the woods, we need to be able for emergency purposes to tow the vehicle out. We are going to use this original device so uh, the wheels of the vehicle will be able to spin. And now I will tell you how I'm going to modify this auxiliary transmission slash speed reducer. This transmission, you, know, you can see uh, here is one gear inside, here is the second gear and here is the third gear. And uh, this auxiliary transmission gets up to 3200 RPMs from the motor and from uh, the transmission. Our Nissan Motors has have about, I think, 10,700 RPMs. So we have to make the ratio about 3 to 1 to make it work. How we are going to do that? What I'm going to do, I will make the hollow shaft. On that hollow shaft will be one gear that will have three times less teeth than the gear inside. Inside that hollow shaft I'm going to insert the shaft of the electric motors and uh, I am going to unbolt this cup obviously over here and use these mounting points uh, for the flat metal that will hold the motor. And of course, on another side, I'm going to do exactly the same. If I need the housing for this gear, I will make it because I can weld on this case. So if I sum it up, I will use this part of tube, this part of tube, and this transmission, and I will mount it over here. It will be this long. The main steering arm, which is located over here, will stay the way it is, and all the bars connected to it will stay the same completely. So all of this will be one complete independent unit and exactly the same unit will be used for the back of the vehicle. These two units will be connected through the tube from Tatra but it will not be straight but it will be something like that to increase the ground clearance in the middle under the middle of the vehicle. And the length of this tube is up to us. So we can put pretty much any kind of vehicle on the top of this chassis. And now is coming the best part of this episode, the video recap. But you can have it now before we will give you something else. Actual work in this shop represents probably only 25% of our time. 75% represents the video production. It means we are done over here, we will have to record the card. Libor, video editor, works on it 10-15 hours, he sends it back. I spent another 5 hours uh, adding and removing stuff what I, uh, the way I want, I send it back. He spends on it maybe 2 more hours, he sends it back. And of course I always find something what is wrong. So, uh, in the end of the day, we spend maybe 20 25 hours 
till the episode is done. Then I have to upload it on YouTube, then I have to put it on Facebook and uh, all that stuff around the marketing. I hate it. I didn't think that I will spend so much time with the computer, but of course, it's part of the part of the job. <clears throat> if you find in these videos something what is valuable to you, like inspiration, guidance, entertainment, whatever it is, if you, if if it has a value, we would very appreciate if you give us something back. You can uh, help us with few dollars uh, through our Patreon. I think one or five dollars a month will not hurt anything. And on another end, it would help a lot to this channel. So we can continue to produce our videos without any inter interruptions. And now, final video recap. Enjoy! Hallelujah! moving oh it's moving unbelievable
Neborně. Ne, nedrží to někde na gávlu nebo něco?
power. <laughs>
done.
Yeah. And that's it! Can't believe this Tatra is dismantled.